Hi guys, I'm St. Vicious, and I got a chance to try out the new Set 5 on PB. Uh, Riot let me and a couple other streamers playtest it, and I think I played like three games, and also got like a little briefing from the creators of uh, PFT. Uh, I'm gonna kind of give you guys a brief rundown of the new traits that are gonna be in the game, you know, kind of my experience with them. So let's get into it. The first one's Abomination. Uh, I saw this in game. This one actually seemed pretty cool. It's basically think back to like uh, elementals from set one and two, except that the elemental actually does like pretty good damage. So pretty much got the same kind of just as that. Uh, Coven is the second one. At the start of combat, the champion nears to the center of the coven. Champions is chosen as the coven leader, gaining bonus ability power. Each time a coven unit casts their ability, a fraction of the cost is bestowed upon the coven leader as mana. So this is kind of just like these three units are making one unit into like uh, just like a super carry. Um, and you put your like main you put your main carry in the center, and then like these units are just gonna like power it up like super hard. That's like the main purpose of them. I didn't see anybody really try it out uh, in our play test, but that's like uh, I saw like one or two of the units. Uh, didn't really see like anybody like popping off with it though. Uh, next one's Dawnbringer. Dawnbringers rapidly heal a percentage of the maximum health uh, the first time they drop below 50%. When the heal occurs, it's all allied, allied Dawnbringers gain bonus damage. Um, this is a trait that kind of empowers uh, Garen, which is one of the main uh, five cost units of the set. Uh, there's Garen and Darius. Um, they both have the God King buff. Um, the one that goes with uh, Garen, though, is Dawnbringer. And I saw, uh, you know, composition. One of the comps I actually played in the playtest. Uh, kind of played just like uh, Garen carry with Dawnbringer, and he just literally like 1v9 the game. So it seems like a really str strong trade overall. Um, it, it just basically like putting, you know, powering up like your 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 like main five costs and your four costs, and it, it just really strong overall. Draconic is the next one. Um, this is kind of the the troll uh, fortune, you know, pirates kind of thing. I would I would equate this more to like um, pirates from set three than I would have like fortune. Uh, because when you have three of this, uh, you can get little eggs on your bench and it's going to hatch out units, uh, which is kind of like mainly used for like generating gold and like getting your units that you want to have. And then when you have five, um, which is uh, uh, the full trait, and you actually need a, a legendary unit, you need Heimerdinger to get the, the full five cost. So it's kind of like similar where you're like chasing the, uh, the pirates um, trait in set three, where it's like, I got to get Gangplank to get like the full thing online to get the goodies, you know? So once you have all the goodies, then you can start actually start like hatching like items and like Nikos and like random things like that. Uh, so it's kind of like similar to that uh, how pirates were. Um, Dragon Slayer is the next one. Dragon Slayers gain bonus ability power after the first allied Dragon Slayer scores a takedown an enemy with at least fourteen hundred max health. Each combat, all allies gain additional power to the ranger of combat. Um, I tried this out with like Mordekaiser carry in like a Nightbringer build or something like yeah I think it was Nightbringer uh, or maybe it was. Uh, it, was, it, was, uh, it was something basically like that, but this this is kind of like uh, Dusk um, from set 3, uh, or actually set 4. Dusk from set 4, where you like have Riven carry, like Mordekaiser is kind of like Riven, where you like build tank items on them, and then you have like uh, some AP, and then you get enabled like through uh, the trade of Dragon Slayer to give you like all that raw ability power to do damage. So kind of similar to like setup like you would expect from like the Dusk units, where they get all their damage from this trade itself. Uh, the next one is Eternal. Um, it's Kindred, uh, which is a five cost. This is kind of like uh, think of like a Zir Soldier, um, uh, except that the Zir Soldiers do damage. Like basically, Eternal makes it to where you have uh, Wolf and Lamb, which are the two different units, and Wolf is like the Zir Soldier, and it actually does real damage. Like it'll actually kill stuff. Uh, it's not just gonna sit there and like tank tank for you. So kind of similar to that. Uh, Forgotten is the next one. Forgotten champions have the bonus ability power and attack damage. Each shadow item worn by Forgotten champions increases the bonus on all Forgotten champions, stacking up to four times. Um, so this is kind of the trait to go along with the new mechanic in the game. You know, they got rid of Chosen. The new mechanic in the game is that there's a bunch of random shadow items. Every item has like a counter component. Um, you know, BF Sword has Shadow BF. Uh, Blue Buff has like Shadow Blue Buff. Uh, and all these units have like trade-offs like uh, I think like the the shadow death blade is like you do 25% more damage But you take 25% more damage. So uh, this whole trade is just gonna amplify those bonuses and kind of kind of like a trait that like plays off items I didn't really see anybody like build their entire comp around it in the playtest But I did see Diego carry kind of popping off so uh, Definitely like one of the more interesting traits in the game uh, Hellion is the next one uh, This guy this trait's kind of troll uh, basically what it does is when 
you your units die, it makes a one cost version of the unit come out and also like go after them and like ulti and attack the person. So it's kind of like you're zerging them. I at first I thought this trait was kind of like not that good, and then I saw somebody play Teemo carry. Uh, in this build, and it just like actually 1v9 while the units were zerging, so it, se it seemed pretty strong overall. Uh, and I think they played it as a reroll build as well. Uh, Ironclad is the next one. All allies gain bonus armor. Um, I use this as my primary frontline when I did my builds in the game. Uh, these units are just like super tanky overall and like really good against physical. And plus, uh, there's two four cost units in this trait, so I think this is going to kind of take the place of like Sejuani Aatrox, like you know, like those kind of like four cost frontline combos, except. These units are like not as CC heavy. Like there's not as much CC in set five as there was in like previous sets. I feel like a lot of the traits are like more like buffing and shielding and like enabling like your other units um, instead of like just perma CCing the enemy. Uh, so it's a, a lot more of that kind of stuff. Uh, the next one is Nightbringer. Nightbringer gains a decaying shield equal to the percent of their maximum health. The first time they drop below 50% when the shield is applied that Nightbringer gains bonus damage. So I played this build with Darius carry uh, and he just kind of like 1v9. Uh, this is the whole trait, you know, to be built around like powering up your Darius and like making him pop off. Uh, and this is kind of like your bursty, kind of sustain, like caster kind of build. Uh, the next one is Redeemed. Redeemed have increased armor, magic resist, and ability power. When they die, they split this bonus among living Redeemed. Uh, this is kind of like Dark Star from set 3, kind of sort of similar like that. And the main primary care unit, care unit of this is Kale. And Kale, basically, the way she operates is the the longer the fight is, and like the more autos she gets off, uh, she has like this ramping like thing to where eventually she starts just raining like beams down onto the ground and just like kills the entire board. So the whole uh, point of this build is to just like stay alive as long as possible and like let Kale get to that point where she's just like literally one shotting the entire board, which is just turns she just turns ridiculous like one v nine carry. Uh, Revenant. Revenant survive after their first step each combat. Once survived, they take and deal 30% uh, increased damage. I didn't see anyone try this out in the playtest, um, so I didn't really have any experience with this, but it's definitely an interesting trait uh, as Volley Bear is like the primary carry from it. It could definitely be pretty cool. Uh, Burden. Uh, I didn't really see many people use this trait that much. This is actually probably the, the trait that I dislike the most out of the playtest. It seems like the least flavorful. Uh, champions that start combat adjacent to at least one Verdant Champion are immune to crowd control for the first few seconds of combat. Uh, so I guess, like, I don't know. I mean, I guess you can use this as a way of, like, a mini QSS to, like, help people out if you think they're going to be CC'd or something or something. I don't know. I'm sure there's, like, some, some kind of, like, hidden gem-like thing you can do with this that I don't really know about. Uh, Assassin. Assassins are pretty much how they've been in, like, all the previous sets where they just jump across and they start stabbing stuff and they crit critical strike damage. Uh, I saw Kuhn play like a reroll Nocturne build with this. It kind of popped off, but then it kind of like fell off later. I'm sure there's like gonna be some weird uh, assassin build that you can like make. Uh, there's a five cost assassin in this, so I'm pretty sure you like build around the Diego carry uh, for the late game. Um, and that's gonna be like pretty strong. Uh, Brawlers, Brawlers gain additional maximum health. Uh, just a, you know, a four trait. Uh, there's only five Brawlers in the game. There is one five cost, but everything else is like three costs and below. I feel like Brawlers are something you play, like, uh, early game and then you kind of, like, maybe transition out of, or you only play, like, the two Brawler with, like, the Volley Bear and then, like, uh, I can't remember what this other bra this three-cross Brawler was. Um, but yeah, Brawlers seemed kind of weird to me, uh, at least in the playtest. They didn't really seem like, like, a powerhouse like they were in, like, the other sets. Uh, Caretaker. Caretaker deploys with a Baby Dragon that can be placed anywhere on the battlefield. Baby Dragons gain 100% of their handler's attack speed and restore 50 mana to their Caretaker upon death. So this is uh, the Heimerdinger, and it's basically just like a thing that enables Heimerdinger to be stronger. That's pretty much, that's pretty much the gist I got of it. Cavalier, this was a really interesting one. Uh, somebody in the playtest played like reroll Cavaliers. Um, Cavaliers charge quickly towards their target whenever they move, Cavaliers take reduced damage. The start of combat and after charging, the effect is doubled for four seconds. So somebody played reroll Cavaliers and like actually like popped off. Um, I think they like rerolled like Kled and, and Hecarim. And the Kled, like, literally, like, 1v9 the game. is like, pretty crazy. Uh, Cruel is, like, the troll trait. Basically, it's, like, the Teemo trait, where instead of paying gold to buy Teemo, you pay health. And it's 6 health every single time you buy Teemo. And, uh, yeah, that health, like, adds up pretty quick. Uh, so... Also, you can get Teemo off the carousel, and it does not cost you health, so... 
Uh, kind of a weird trait. Teemo is ex extremely strong if you get him two, two star though. Uh, so uh, definitely something to look out for. Kind of like the meme trait, of the, uh, one of the meme traits of the, the next set. Um, definitely gonna be like seeing some funny stuff with that. Uh, God King, if you have exactly one God King, they deal 30% bonus damage to their rival traits. Uh, that's kind of the stuff we talked about. It's like the whole uh, good versus evil, which is the theme of uh, set five. Uh, it's the Darius and the Garen. I, I had the chance to play like both of these in the in the play test, and both of them are extremely powerful if you like itemize them and like build traits around them. And then they can pretty much I don't want to say like solo carry, but they can they can do some like really nasty stuff uh, as uh, as like your main primary carry. Uh, all ally invoker all allies gain increased mana per a basic attack. Um, this is kind of like. Uh, I don't want to say it's like Star Guardians, I guess I'd say. Somebody played Reroll Sindra with this as one of their carries, and Sindra's ability is she like picks up a unit and like throws it at them, and he just like kept picking up my like main carry and like throwing it into my team, and like I couldn't do anything. It was actually really obnoxious. Uh, Knights is the next one. Knights all allies block a flat amount of damage from all sources. This is just you know like your standard cookie cutter. It's it's pretty much Knights from set one. I don't know if you guys remember those, where it's like that flat uh, damage reduction from all sources. And there's a lot of them, so this is gonna be one of your primary frontliners for the game. And also like a lot of good, uh, five, you know, five and four cost units belong to this trade as well. So a lot of a lot of like good potential with that. Uh, Legionnaire is the next one. Legionnaires gave bonus attack speed. And their first attack after casting, uh, spell heals them to 50% of the damage dealt. Uh, this is a trait with uh, Draven, I played this, and uh, also uh, Kale. It's like a weird version of Duelist that also like is healing and yeah. I, I tried this trade out, this setup out with like Draven Carry. Uh, it felt pretty strong late game, but I don't I don't know if I did it right. But yeah, Draven Draven Carry seems pretty cool though. I mean, it's pretty much just like set one Draven. I don't know if you guys remember he's like catching the axes and killing everything. Uh, all allies Mystic all allies gain magic resist. I mean, it's exactly the same as it's been in previous sets. Uh, Ranger, after four seconds, Rangers gain attack speed for four seconds. They regain this bonus every four seconds thereafter. This is exactly like the trait um, from set two with uh, Twitch and, you know, Ash Gary and all those units. So pretty much expect the same thing here where you're going to get that, like, ramping attack speed. Uh, Renewer. Renewer is healed for percentage of their maximum health each second. If they are full health, they restore maximum, or they restore mana instead. Somebody played this with Reroll Soraka as their carry, and it was, like, Basically like spell vamping every single time it ulted and it was like the most obnoxious stuff like It was, it was actually just like killing like my whole team by itself. It was really obnoxious uh, kind of like a siphoner type build uh, Skirmisher is the next one uh, Skirmishers gain a shield at the start of combat and gain attack damage each second uh, This is like I didn't really get to say I didn't see anybody really try this out um, but definitely there's like a lot of units. It also has Viego carry. Like Viego has so many ways of like enabling himself. Uh, so I, I don't know. I wasn't really sure what to, to judge by this one. Uh, Spellweaver is the last one. I played this build with like Velkaz carry in my first play test game and actually won the lobby. Uh, Spellweavers have increased ability powering and get bonus ability power any time the champions and ability stacks to 10 times. So this is basically like a ramping like uh, mage, I want to say like mage buff or from last set. So kind of similar thing. Um, but yep, yeah, I'm going to be putting out a lot of videos and uh, also be playing uh, Set 5 next uh, patch when it comes out a lot. And also I'm going to be updating comps list for you guys so you guys can know what to play um, before the set goes live. So hope uh, to put that content out for you guys soon. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and also enjoy Set 5. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye friends. Yeah. The herbs train in the sun. We back. Set 5. Let's go.